last day of conference and it's always a little bittersweet. I'm ready to get back home, get out of the dry desert air, get back to my real life. That said though, like I said, it's always a little bittersweet though because you get to miss the people that you don't get to see very often. You get to miss the, the heady rush that comes with being around like-minded individuals, the comfort that all that brings. Met a lot of new friends, seen a lot of old friends, but my adventure does not end. I'm actually going out to SoCal to bring you all some new content. That's right. Woo! Woo! Indeed. So welcome to the Modified World, the weekly web show about body modification, the people who do it, the people who get it, and why it matters. I am your host, the senior piercer at the world-renowned Pangea Piercing, and the purveyor of all this internet wackiness, J.C. Potts. And this week, I head out to Southern California on an impromptu vacation of sorts to go check out the Industrial Strength Factory. So, hop in the back of a truck with Siroja from Russia, and we trade barbs with each other as we ride out into the picturesque Nevada, Southern California desert on our way to San Diego. Once we got there, went and checked out the factory. How's it going there, JC? I know, I'm pretty good, man. Just Welcome. getting back from from conference and enjoying it. Uh, you gonna give me the nickel tour, man? Absolutely. Welcome to my mess. <laughs> A clear desk is a sign of a lazy man. That is true. This is where, for the last year, I've set every single clicker that Industrial Strength has sold myself. We're very lucky that we are going to get to go around and see quite a bit about what it actually takes to bring high quality body jewelry to market because lately there's been a bunch of controversy about everybody like, oh man, why is it so expensive? Why does it take so long? All this stuff. I'm here to find those answers to those questions. And we just walk out my office and we'll be here on the, uh, the mezzanine and we can overlook the entire factory. Okay. So, hey Jim. So, this is the whole oh. factory. Me. Seriously, dude? Holy sh. 15,000 square feet of just machine shop. We've got, we probably have about 80 machines. All right, so show me what all we're looking at here, man. Uh, we got, uh, we got lathes here. We're making balls. We're making labret discs. We're making uh, our, we make our eyelets on these huge lathes over here. Uh, and again, it just keeps going on rows and rows of Swiss screw machines. After Swiss screw oh. machines, we got nostril screws. We got flowers. Uh, we got. Prongs, we got you name it. It just keeps going on and on and on. So again, here's ro another rows of Swiss screw machines, barbells. Every machine's got its prints on what it's running. We're running flowers on this one. We're running four prongs on this one. Uh, you name it, it just goes on and on. Tie locks, on and on and on and on and on. These are our steam cleaning stations. As you see here, we have all we have ten stations for steam cleaning. Holy sh. All the jewelry gets hand, after it's hand polished, it's hand steam cleaned every part, one at a time. No sh This is all the unfinished jewelry. All these bins is unfinished jewelry. Whoa. So part of the process is when we get an order for something, we pull the jewelry like a prong set. We pull the prong set, it gets polished, steam cleaned, then the stone gets set. And then after the stone is set, then it goes back to steam cleaning a second time. Or, I'm sorry, polish and a second steam cleaning. So there's multiple levels of getting this stuff done. Every single piece that we make. So there, that's the factory. And uh, I know of a bonfire going on tonight down at the beach. You want to go check it out? Hell yeah, man. It's howdy doody. Got wooden balls? Man, let's roll, man. <laughs> <That's good. laughs> Besides, all this filming crap gets old, man. Shoot pretty awesome actually. I was really excited about the prospects of actually getting to see up close and personal what all it takes to make high quality body jewelry. Of course I was astounded too at JD's hospitality as he wound up taking me for dinner and live entertainment of Southern California's underground punk scene. 
Mexican food was a go. Turns out though, Bonfire at the Beach actually is code for local punk rock show. So, I'm gonna go see how the locals around here do it. Yeah, it was all in all a great treat. A couple of the best parts about it were the fact that A, was able to actually get to go out and see what it is that I'm putting in people on a day-to-day -day basis. The other thing is too, is it was a nice little exercise and one of the perks of being in this whole community. The fact that after a while, after you make enough friends, it gets to be where you can just show up at some place, very little announcement, and have things to do, friends to help you, places to stay, welcome as a local and the part of the community just from the get-go. And that's pretty fun. Honestly, that's one of the best perks about the whole job, if you ask me. That was my show this week. Hope you enjoyed it. Hope you learned something. Perhaps at least remotely entertained. <laughs> Leave me comments in the section down below because I love it. It lets me know that you're paying attention. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you probably ought to so that you don't miss videos. Why? Well, why not? Well, it's free and it doesn't hurt. Be sure to stop back by next week for yet another episode of The Modified World. Wamp, 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 wamp